Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. Today I'm going to give you the updates on Grok 1. So Elon Musk's company X.AI has made Grok 1 completely open source. Anybody can download the model weights and build solutions on top of their mixture of experts model. And we're going to talk about that in a bit. Uh, I will show you that, you know, what are the updates that we have and what we currently know because when you talk about the usability, that might be an issue right now because the model weights is beyond 300B parameters. So it's a huge model and you need multiple GPUs to inf even inference it. Forget about fine tuning and the other things, which looks like not you know a feasible thing to do at this moment. But I'll tell you why this is important because Elon Musk last week, you know, he had announced that they are they're gonna make Grok as an open source uh model and that's a big announcement because he has you know recently has been talking about a lot on open source and they have also you know uh, they're also trying to sue uh open ai and that's that's a big thing now with grok coming as an open source model it's a uh, around 314 billion parameter mixture of experts model the weights are available you can use torrent to download that but Usability is a big problem right now. Not all consumers can do that. Niche consumers will do it because you have to think about two things. One is that you need a multi GPU setup. Probably you need 8 into A100 or 8 into H100 GPUs that will be available on AWS SageMaker or the RunPod or Lambda Labs kind of a thing, right? With cloud providers or the GPU providers rather. Now, the other thing is that there is no quant available so far, no quantization. So you have to do it on FP16 and then you need all these GPUs around 600 plus uh, VRAM. Let's have a quick look what we all know about uh, Grok 1 so far. So if you look at here on my screen, I have open release of Grok 1. It has been released yesterday, okay, March 17th. Prior to this, they have announced the Grok in November last year. So when OpenAI, you know, was GPT-4, Mistral coming up with their MOEs and all. Meanwhile, you know, Elon also announced a Grok. There was a chatbot that they built. There was a demo that we used to see. And they have announced that in November. And it took them a few months, you know, three to four months to make this open source available. They would have done a lot of testings, you know, ethicality and things like that. Now, they say that there are 314 billion parameters, a mixture of experts model. Okay, that's what that's what we know if you come down you will you will read uh, read a bit about this it says you know 314 the raw base model checkpoint from the grok one uh, pre-training phase and the good thing about guys there is no specific fine tuning or specializations for a downstream task have been performed it's all the base that we are talking about there is no dialogue there is no chat kind of a thing that they have made it open source the base model has been uh, made open source it's apache 2.0 so you can use it for commercial purposes as well. You can build solutions and sell it and make money. That's what it is. Now, they have a. If you read here, it says 314 billion parameter, blah blah blah, with 25% of the weights active on a given token. That's fantastic. And it says trained from scratch using a custom training stack on top of Jax and Rust, so it will be faster as well. So uh, on top of Jax and Rust in October last year. This is what we know here now. Here is a GitHub repository. I'll give the link in description. You can go through it. Okay, you can talk about it, how to run it, and they say make sure to download the checkpoint. You have to download the checkpoint from you know using torrent or whatever you want to use to download that, and then you have to place that uh, here as a checkpoint zero, and then you have to download the weights. You can see this is the magnet link that you have. You can use torrent to download it. Uh, I am still downloading it while creating this video in my other machine. So we'll try to see, you know, if you're able to run that. Okay, probably a cloud cluster will be a better, you know, multiple GPU clusters to run this. We'll, we'll create more videos in coming days to give you updates on Grok, how it's performing and things like that. Right now, you will have a lot of questions, guys, about Grok. The best thing to resolve all the queries that you have is nothing but the GitHub issues. You don't have to go and ask a lot of people on LinkedIn or Twitter. Issues are the best thing because when it's, when a new library comes in or a new model or repository comes in on GitHub, your sole uh, way of resolving your queries would be GitHub issues. You can get all your queries resolved. So, for example, if you talk about hardware requirement, eight eight a hundred, not one a hundred. One a hundred gives you eighty GB of VRAM. So you need eight into a hundred. So eighty into eight, which is like six forty GB of virtual RAM. You have to burn a lot of money. Probably, you know, around uh, if I'm not wrong, 
if you use run pod it will be around 12 to 15 dollar per hour and then the memory and volume cost are different the container and the volume cost because you need storage as well to download and keep it somewhere so that's a different so around 20 dollar per hour if you want to use grok so if you have 20 dollar feel free to use grok otherwise you use what you have been using there's not much difference guys trust me right so cheap and be happy right if you don't want to uh, burn a lot of money there are other equivalence model that will that performs equally good now that's on the hardware requirement the other one is the when you're talking about usability we, we're going to talk about the context length what we know so far is that the context length is 8k tokens you can fit 8k tokens in a context window so 8 a100 or h100 gpu 8k context token these are the few things that we are aware so far and we're not talking a lot about you know training they would have used rlhf you know or those kind of things in the in the back we're not talking about it so you can find out and a lot of installations errors are happening because jax might be a requirement you know haiku might be a requirement a lot of libraries might be a requirement to support it right so if you are facing any problem go to github github is your only source the other thing is that you also be curious about the hugging face repository because you might want to run this in a hugging face space if you have of course the affordability to run that you can do that now you can see there's already a space here let's open that omnibus grok one test you can see it's by omnibus they have deployed that in a space and you can see there's a uh, if you look at here right it says model error unsupported pipeline nothing is working as of now i'm pretty sure no documentation nothing is there okay so it's a big challenge now here's the grok one hugging face repository again if you have any issues you have to come to community and learn here what's happening okay uh, the major challenge that people are seeing is that once the torrent once you are using torrent to download from the magnet link and once it reaches 100 uh, GB of size is basically stop and that's the biggest problem that I have faced uh, this morning, but I'm again uh, Redownloading it So this is you can see here due to the large size of model a multi GPU machine is required to test the model with the example code So they have given the code and you can use it and you can do that. Yeah, that's what it is guys. That's what we know so far Okay, don't uh, go into a lot of Detailing right now. I'll believe wait for the right uh, moment in few days we'll see more progress and update but just to just a food of thought okay stop burning your money unnecessarily for hype and the pr okay when it comes to new llms and stuff right not required try to solve problem with the existing llms in a optimized way or an optimized uh, cost that you have right today we have xai grok tomorrow we'll have yai you know other models doesn't make a lot of difference okay so uh keep doing what you are doing with the existing set of llms or the slms or whatever and solving problems we'll see n number of models coming week in week out so yeah mm -hmm. that's that's what we know all about grok guys so far if you have any uh other things to share if you have your own findings about grok please uh, comment uh in the comment box and let us know the wider audience that what's your findings and insights on grok if you have any question thoughts or feedback please let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channel find those information on channel banner and channel about us if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel for more generative ai content thank you so much for watching see you in the next one